Hello guys, this is part two of the series of videos when I create venue management system or venue portal like this one. So hirespace.com, we will kind of clone that. Uh, it's a part two, so please watch part one of this series. And we're creating that based on free bootstrap theme about properties. And in the previous lesson, pre previous part, we've generated admin panel like this one. Uh, so by now we have admin panel and we have a database like this one and we have some code. So migrations and basically admin panel generated with quick admin panel. In this video in part two we will start creating the front end part. So this one uh, I'll take the original bootstrap theme called home space and try to convert it into blade. So this is how it looks. I've downloaded it. It's free uh, if we leave those at the bottom. Uh, template is made by Colorlib company, so we'll leave that as it is, uh, and then we can use that for free. And this is the original theme. So index.html file, uh, so no blade, no like no fancy stuff. So we will just copy index.html into into our uh, into our PHP Storm and Laravel project. And first, let's go to routes and let's prepare the route for the home page. Uh, for now, we have admin panel routes and some admin panel logic, which means that home page redirects to login, so we don't need that anymore. For now, let's do without controller. So uh, route home would be function uh, with returning the view. So return view uh, home. So let's stick to that and we open our home, uh, which comes from Laravel, by the way. So that doesn't, uh, doesn't need to be created. And we need to create a new layout. So we have layouts admin, and then there's app, which is for, from what I remember, for uh, change password and login. Uh, and we need layout front. So let's create, just for example, let's do file save as front blade. Uh, front blade and we copy just all of the index HTML from the theme just like that without changing anything copy and paste into here uh, and in our home blade we will extend layouts front and uh, in section content actually let's leave everything everything like actually yeah uh, section content let's let it be section content and we have some text here uh, and then in the front blade we will add that section somewhere actually on the top so I would see that it actually works on in the body we'll have yield content for now that's for now so that would be step one to prove that it actually works it won't load any CSS for now files because we didn't copy them but let's see if it works with a lot of errors but uh, it should load something on the home page and shouldn't redirect to login. Uh, Prego match. Turn you home. Oh, of course, route redirect shouldn't be redirect, should be get. Route get, sorry. Okay. It's loading something. Yep, it's loading something with text without, so it doesn't find any CSS, JS, but it works. And now we will fill it in piece by piece with some real data, actually some text. Yep, it is also present. So this is also working as well. Now let's go to our front blade and let's see what we have here and what we need to replace. Probably we will replace this one um, with venue, venue management and Probably later we will replace that with variable for SEO purposes. And now let's copy all the fonts and CSS and all of that into uh, into real file. But thinking about it, how to do that? Probably it should be assets, so something like that. Asset and then that URL, right? Mm, asset this and then these would be inside of public folder. So I will just copy and paste that. Probably there is a faster way to do that in PHP Storm, but uh, I'm not sure if I need to save those seconds. 
So this, like this one, and we will do the same thing with JS, and we will copy full folders from the original theme into our public folder in Laravel. Right, so CSS should be found, and now let's copy the actual files. So those files are original, and this is inside of our uh, Laravel. So let's just copy everything here. CSS. Actually, it moved it, but yeah, anyway. No, actually, let's copy. Just in case, so we leave the original as original, and then fonts. Not sure if there is a fonts folder. Nope, there isn't, so fonts, copy and paste. Uh, JS. Yep, let's copy and paste that as well. I hope there is no name conflict. Main JS, damn, same file. Um, okay, we will deal with that. Uh, keep both. Let's do keep both, and we will do main JS front main. We will rename that main front JS. Uh, right, and probably images. Images. Yeah, let's copy images as well. Public images. Okay, and I think that's it. Now let's try to reload the page if the CSS is working. Something is working, so it's loading something. Probably if we open the console uh, of that, probably a lot of errors with network. Something not found, jQuery is not found. Oh, that's why jQuery is not found, then anything else is not loading. But if we look at the source, it's loading actually under the hood and CSS actually works. Great. So that is great. Now we need to replace JS uh, assets with the same thing. Actually, some more replacements here. Like this. Like this. I forgot something. No. Okay, and at the bottom there should be JS files mentioned. So here we have this, this jQuery 3. I probably should spend time to clean up uh, and leave what we actually need, but I will leave that to you guys. Uh, front main, or main front we call it, I think, main front JS. Okay, and copy paste a lot of stuff. I'm not actually cutting all the parts here in this video because I wanted to show you exactly how much it uh, takes to create a project. So this will be pretty long video series. But that's exactly how it works in real life. Okay, we refresh. <clears throat> there we go, we have something. We have some text, so that's our section. Any errors in network? <coughs> Sorry. Images, so one image not found, CSS images, that is weird, but anyway, we have the blade file with home page, and it's all working, well, links won't work of course, but JS is working, some text, we don't even need that for now, so let's remove that, uh, just extends, and that's perfectly fine, by the way, that's perfectly fine, uh, file it just extends something but doesn't add anything so it's just a copy of layouts front and we will fill it in with uh, content soon now let's debug what is gloss wave mm, something gloss wave it's probably inside of some CSS somewhere uh, gloss wave let's search the project so find path gloss wave images UI, it's inside of jQuery UI, probably we should add this and this in the CSS. Actually, let's look for URL more. Uh, okay, let's re replace URL images with URL homepage images. So, uh, what's the comment art was, yeah, no, images with this one. Replace all in a CSS file and let's reload the page and we'll see if there is still an error. Error is gone or not? No. Oh, the image is not found. The actual image is not found. So probably it's not found in the original theme. Lost wave something. 
okay I guess it will be removed when we when we create a home page uh, and other files one by one let's leave it as it is for now uh, right okay so we need to close that CSS so we have front blade venue management and now let's uh, fill it with actual data in this video I will show you only the data filling for that uh, slider for the upper part and then we will go deeper and deeper uh, but now I will show you the principle how it should work so instead of our uh, return view now we actually need a controller for that so let's make a controller PHP artisan make controller home controller not sure if it actually exists already let's try maybe it comes from Laravel controller created okay so we have home controller uh, there is admin one generated by quick admin panel right and let's have index public function index uh, and which would return the same view home but with parameters and in the web instead of return view we have route get to home controller index and uh, now what things we need inside of that view let's go to our visual stuff and first this will be featured venues uh, then there will be search then there will be just a list of venues and then something else and we will refer to the original uh, things that that we need to create here higher space uh, for venues but for now featured venues is the first thing I wanted to show you so featured venues for now we will hard code them but hard code them from controller so there will be like featured venues equals something like array and that array would be inside of featured venues right uh, and what do we need inside of home uh, so now we are trying to we will start copying and pasting from the front to the actual home blade um, side menu now we will leave menu now bar is also good for now slider so this one slide one item if we copy that here from this one to home blade section content and section I'm not even sure that would be the correct structure we will probably change that but for now let's try that so section content and then yield content there will be something here so yield content mm, yield content here so all the menus should stay the same on all pages but for the content home will have a slider let's refresh the page and it shouldn't change anything for now it should still work yep it does and now let's replace this with variables so what do we need hero uh, background one and for now we will make it as array but later we will change that to eloquent object uh, so array of venues and one venue would be uh, hero image will be something then what else do we need uh, street name street well, address, address. Then we need, then we need uh, address two. Wait, or is it the title? How does it look? Oh, yeah, it's a title. So name or name. Then address, address, and also price, and link to more detail and probably so ID of some kind. So uh, price would be uh, this one we will take care of the formatting of the numbers also later price and then link link would be for now this one so, and hero image would be uh, again later we will probably use spotty media library for handling images but for now let's hard code it and we will change that actually to something else uh, the data so as a proof that it actually worked so image hero bg3 and then other address other name other address copy and paste here 607 los angeles this then 
probably different price and featured venues and in the home blade we instead of div we do for each so for each featured venues as featured venue we do URL this featured venue uh, what's it called hero image hero image right okay then copy here uh, no actually we will leave, probably need to leave this with these brackets okay so title or name I think was it name yep name address price and link so name address price and link and we delete the other one and we do end for each and for each formatting um, to make it more actually what if PHP storm yeah PHP storm formats this way great uh, yeah let's refresh and again nothing should change as you can see it's still working and um, if we click that see the price is this one so 607 also uh, let's change something and as a proof that it actually comes from the controller refresh again <clears throat> and as you can see at 5300 so this way we replace the hard-coded blade data with something that comes from controller and later it will come from the database so in the next videos one by one section where we will replace the actual uh, blade with the data from the database. So see you guys in other videos.